Hello again, welcome back to We Legally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I'm back for another PC game low vision spotlight video. And believe it or not, this is my first video and first attempt at a video on my new gaming rig. So I may have mentioned earlier in, a, in an earlier video that uh, I had been looking at putting together a new gaming PC and uh, using my other one as kind of a, you know, a media center kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I was really starting to have to pay attention to minimum system requirements and just wanted to do a few things to it. Got the beast up and running and boy, is it really running well. Um, I've tried a couple of games out on it so far and I wanted to do something a little bit more, you know, cutting edge or, you know, action-y, and I was going to do Dying Light first, but instead what we're looking at this time is called Life is Strange. Life is Strange, and this is kind of an exploration adventure game that's kind of unique. It came out of nowhere for me. Um, like I said, I was thinking about doing uh, Dying Light, which is kind of a first-person zombie, um, not really a shooter because it's really primarily focused on melee weapons, kind of like the original Dead Island game, which I have not yet covered on the channel, um, but I'm sure I will cover Dying Light and or Dead Island at some point here on Illegally Sighted. But um, I haven't gotten far enough into Dying Light to really feel comfortable doing a video. Uh, I don't really have really enough good weapons and variety to kind of feel like I can show you a lot of the game. So instead, the first game I'm going to show you with my new kind of cool gaming PC here is again, uh, not Dying Light, uh, Life is Strange. And uh, <coughs> like I said, it is an adventure style game. And If I go back here, there's my title screen here, and when I go in, I can choose a save slot. Now, I'm this is my game that I'm currently working on, uh, and I'm probably a fair ways into this uh, particular episode, so Life is Strange is actually a... It's an episodic game. There are, I believe, five episodes. The first one just came out, I would say, about a week ago, week and a half ago, tops. And, like I said, it's, uh, it's an exploration game. Um, there's definitely more game to it than something like Gone Home, uh, probably even something a little bit more than Stanley Parable in some ways. But it's not an action game by any means. Um, so far, it has not been really complicated. It's just been kind of a relaxing, story-based, kind of a chill game so far. But I am intrigued about where the overall story is going to go over the next five episodes. Just by the... I'm guessing I'm probably, like I said, about halfway through the first episode at this point. So, main menu here... Um, one thing I really like about this game, accessibility-wise so far, uh, is that the text, I'm running this thing at 1080p, uh, and I'm running it at really nice high resolution, um, you know, high graphic fidelity and everything like that, um, but the, gra the uh, text is all really nice. Really nice and large, um, easy to read font. I definitely appreciate that. And that goes for like the main menu, the options menu. When I pause, I'll kind of show you a couple things here. We're just going to go new game. And because this game is such a, it's really, really heavily um, story based. So I'm going to give you a couple, I'm going to give you a little bit of the main story to get you guys intrigued about this game. And then I'm going to do a couple little odds and ends, maybe talk to a couple people on the side. But I'm not going to explore very much because, like I said, this is a game that I think 
either you will want to play on your own to just experience and get through the story, or uh, you know, if you guys are really interested in, interested in it, um, <clears throat> you know, this could be a game that potentially um, could be one of 2015's uh, let's plays. So, uh, if you guys are into that kind of thing, let's go new game. And uh, here we go. Life is strange. Here we go. Alrighty, so we're already starting out with the kind of cliche. There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. The kind of cliche amnesia, like who am I, where am I, or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. But it's not what you think, at least for now. Um, this is just kind of a really cool intro. Um, you know, and like I said, while this may not be the most like demanding game ever uh, with my new video card like I said we've got uh, you know my new system this being my first game that I've really uh, recorded for the channel using this machine um, this game looks pretty damn good uh, I'm just the clarity and the all the graphic -y effects like all the cool rain and fog and like as I'm walking past these trees like you'll see little you know, subtle lighting things and with the lightning and stuff. Just, it's a really good looking game. Um, maybe not super real. It's kind of has this balance between realism and almost, I almost kind of want to say like a, Come on, Max. You can make it. like a painting or something like that. Um, it, you know, it's got, like, it's got kind of a realistic look to it, but you can kind of tell there's still sort of like more of an artistic style um, over realism. So we're going to head up here. Basically there's this ginormous lighthouse right up there. And we're just going to head up here and see what the heck is going on. That, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. So we're going to wander up here. That can't be good. Big old tornado. Whoa. And psych. That was so surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. All right, so we are actually this girl, teenage girl. Uh, I think she's. I think I found out later in the game that she's 18 years old now. But uh, she's in. Uh, she had a dream or something, and we are now in our classroom. So let's uh, playing with the 360 controller again here. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay, photograph there she, that she took, a little Polaroid. And any one of you could do that to me. 
So we're in basically a photography class right now. And she is, uh, basically what I've gathered so far is this girl is a... I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. It is a crazy... looked at this, what would they think? She is like a super photo nerd. Um, and uh, she's just like, she's like super into just like all the photography equipment. Like you walk around the class and it's just kind of funny. She's like, oh my god. Um, but uh, see, here's your journal. Um, you get to see there's some people that, uh, so we've met the teacher, we've got a couple of the kids in class, uh, we've got a whole bunch of, uh, portraits over there on the right that we haven't met or unlocked just yet. Um, <clears throat> we do have some unlockables here. Um, we got our cell phone. This is where it's kind of like, you, if you get like text messages or things like that, you can kind of just see what people wrote. And periodically there's been one or two instances in the game where I've got a notification and um, somebody has messaged me something, so we'll get to that here shortly. I haven't honestly paid too much attention to this uh, little cell phone part. Uh, what else do we got here? So we got some more of this stuff, and we're back here. So let's approach. continue on for now. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Look at this crap. Ah, How that's can not I what show I wanted. Mr. Jefferson? He captured the essence sure. Of post -war I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st theater, century. But Probably. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers. Shh, oh, that's an ancient camera. I believe camera. Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. I hate a that word. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <laughs> yes, and a Max dumb word. I love gift. that. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Oh. Sorry. I couldn't resist. No, the that is just that the portraiture oh. has always been a vital aspect of life. <laughs> that was really bad. Pretentious as as or I, I don't know what you would call that, but now, that was Max, really lame. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? Not a clue. So occasionally, uh, you when you're in conversations, you do get some uh, dialogue prompts and thankfully they don't seem to be timed so if there's something you know sometimes you will have all four options for all face buttons and you will have to read them and choose and again look at the print on there the, the print is nice and clear um, it is big the one minor complaint I would say about reading some of these dialogue choices is that depending on the background or the area that you're in um, Sometimes uh, the, the text can actually blend into the background a little bit and can make some of the letters a little bit harder to read. Um, but at least, like I said, at least the text is a clear font and it is large. So most of the time it really hasn't been too much of a problem. So let's, uh, I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know <laughs> this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Uh, this whole totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, Very God. Victoria. The Daguerrean process Victoria. brought out fine detail. And Everybody in this class just like... extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American to get I don't know. Everyone in this class just seems so full of themselves and just uh You can find Victoria out just about sounds really lame. Textbook or even online. And the instructors kind of a forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes kind contest. Of a nerd. I'll fly out I don't know. He, he's just where you'll be fed by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I mean, it's good voice acting. Um, okay, now we're actually going to start playing the game again. So we did our little dream flashback uh, nightmare, whatever the heck that was. <laughs> nice. Um, I mean, the voice acting in this is generally okay. It's generally pretty good. 
Um, it's just some of the characters. It's like, man, I, I really hope that I was not that douchey in high school. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, people in high school just are, you know, mean or full of themselves or whatever, but it's just this class is just like, uh, I don't know, some of these characters just uh, kind of obnoxious. So, um, basically, I'm just walking around. I got my dual anal analog sticks. And uh, what's nice is also that it's consistent as far as, like, why is always examine. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I X could pump out a whole gallery show with <coughs> this thing. X will always... Uh, suck. <clears throat> Someday. X will always take a picture, so you very rarely so far have I actually had to take a picture, but there are certain cases in the game where you will be taking photographs, um, and X really seems to be the standard way to do that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. A is your interact button, so you talk to people, you open a door, whatever, pick up something. Um, that's And it's pretty standard, so... You just basically look at whatever your little icons are pointing to and whatever buttons are lit up. You know, maybe you can examine pretty much everything, um, but you really can't interact with everything. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's take another look at let's uh, look at these pictures here. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at <coughs> all, excuse me. It was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. She just sounds bored. Like, I can't tell. I think it's actually pretty good voice acting, but just, like, with her character, I think she just sounds kind of bored. Just like, yeah, I'm a photo nerd, but I'm just like, meh, whatever. All right, let's see. I can look at the tripods, but let's move up here. Let's keep this video moving a little bit. Huh. <coughs> okay. So there we get our prompt. Take uh, There's our X for taking a picture. Take out our ancient camera. <laughs> Good old Polaroid there. Now, if I hit select to go back into my journal, <clears throat> now you notice that we have a picture on the left filled out there. And we have these weird sketches. And from what I've gathered so far, uh, there are things in the environment that we are going to have to try to find, just find in the world, or we can make something happen that looks kind of like something in these portraits. And so I don't know if these are all mandatory or if these are just kind of like, you know, their version of uh, this game's version of collectibles. I would assume that it's more like a collectible thing. Like, can you get a perfect, you know, find all these pictures in the environment? So, that's another little game mechanic that you'll have. <coughs> and, uh, uh, we can, I guess we can examine maybe. We'll check out the nice TV here. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. <laughs> Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. <laughs> Uh, sorry lady, sorry girl, but they don't even really make plasmas anymore, I think. Uh, so this game is already a tiny bit outdated. <laughs> uh, can I talk Every to... Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Uh, she's such an annoying character. I've run into her a few times uh, throughout the game so far. Yeah, she's kind of a nut. Uh... This is ridiculous. I always get <coughs> so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Let's chat with Mr. him. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never <laughs> let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Nice comeback there. Okay, so sure. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. If you say so, guy. 
All right, so let's get out of this class <coughs> classroom here. And don't worry, the game will actually start getting a little bit more interesting here pretty shortly here. Uh, let's go out in the hallway. One thing I will say, even though some of the characters in this game are kind of douchey, you know, or kind of just, eh, you know, some of the characters, but uh, I love the presentation in this game. Um, just the way, just the way it is shot and everything. Um, kind of feels like a. <laughs> you know, kind of does have this like almost TV movie sort of feel. You know, nothing like super high budget, but like, I put her. Okay, she put her earbuds in, and here's how we introduce the credits, and kind of the theme song, I guess, for the first episode or for the series so pretty catchy music too like I said just the, the presentation is really well done I will definitely give it that life is strange okay so <clears throat> I could kinda you know it kinda reminds me of this like weird almost like a um, modern I don't know if I want to say like saved by the bell but like something more modern and kind of grim you know like everyone's just like a downer nowadays because everyone's like all sarcastic and stuff like that but uh so right now I can listen to my earbuds I can I can't really talk to anybody right now but I can I think that's Courtney she's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria so basically I can uh there's Taylor get her get her opinion on uh, the different characters and I highly suspect since they're going that route that if not throughout this episode but throughout the five episodes of this uh, series uh, we're probably going to get to know <clears throat> more of these characters seems like a fairly small school um, seems to almost like a private school or something like that Evan doesn't say much to me but his photos are very cool. <clears throat> okay. Now, I'm not going to go and, uh, I'm not going to, you know, talk to or get her thoughts on everybody. Just kind of give you an idea what happens here. Can I, in, can I in, look at the, huh, I'm surprised she doesn't have something snarky to say about the no smoking poster. There's her locker. Eh, I won't open it. I'll let you guys check it out if you really want to. Maybe there's something interesting. Maybe there isn't. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. <clears throat> right now, you will see these a lot. Um, you'll see the you'll see these everywhere around the school and around the school's campus. Like I said, this seems to be like a private school. You've got dorms and uh, things like that. I think it is definitely a high school. Um, but it seems to be like more of those like, like I said, kind of more prep or private school kind of thing. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. <laughs> All right, let's keep her moving right on down the hallway here. I promise things will get uh, get a little bit more interesting and uh, strange, as it were, very shortly. But yeah, you know, like I said, we're just setting the mood, getting some. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit of atmosphere, setting the mood, I guess. Getting to know the personality of our main character. So, I said, yeah, I mean, uh, almost kind of like a realism meets like a painting sort of thing. It just kind of, the art style and the music and everything, presentation is pretty good overall. Uh, let's see. Yep, here we go. Let's go back over here again. We don't need to hear this song again. And we'll go into the bathroom like she wanted to. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. So it is worthwhile to kind of, you know, explore the environment because there are some interesting or funny things, you know, written down or like things that happen or just things that you encounter. Um, <clears throat> would bother to write that crap? <laughs> and she always, you know, she usually has something kind of offbeat or off kind of snarky to say. Um, 
The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> that's uh, that's probably my favorite line so far in this game. That that is so the truth. I remember um, I have not gotten a flu shot in the last uh, oh few years now. I remember I got it like maybe once or twice, like two years in a row, a few years back. And I swear to God, it was <clears throat> I I didn't get a flu, but I had a, I had a cold for the next like four months. I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I guess I'll just. You know, get the flu, puke for a couple of days, and get over it, you know? Um, my sentiments exactly, girl. Uh, I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> this poster must drive people to have sex. That's great. So you get stuff like that. You see, you know, in schools and businesses, you see these, like, cheesy posters and signs, and, like, they think they're being clever, but they're just really, really lame. Uh, and that's pretty much, yeah, what, uh, what your opinion would be, you know? It's like, yeah, these are stupid. All right, so let's, uh, get this plot moving here. <clears throat> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Rip, there goes the picture. She doesn't like that picture. When a door <clears> closes, <throat> a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Alright, let's, uh... Again, we get our standard interface here. Oh, X is to take a picture, so let's do that. And now, what will happen? Uh, hey dude, you know this is the ladies room, right? It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Uh, that's reassuring, especially with all the school shootings so you hear you about want? nowadays. I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing to do you. <clears throat> Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're oh. messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. <clears throat> She got shot. But what the hell? What the fuck? Yeah, How? my sentiments How exactly, right? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. So, there's your little bit of a twist. From light to shadow. Now things just From got color. a little more interesting. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, <gasps> Shit! Can you give me an example of a... And there goes the camera. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually <laughs> reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? So, yes, I can. If I hold in my left trigger, I can start to rewind time. No explanation why. I don't know how she got or why she got these powers, but... Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? 
So now we kind of get to repeat like totally what happens. When I took my selfie, Jefferson she asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. <laughs> and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. So now, this is kind of the tutorial for the time-based so stuff. Time. Selfie expression. Ugh, what if shut up, dude. Dead yet? Really? The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. <laughs> okay, so we will try to get out of class. Let's try to get I'm out sorry, here. sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there any That didn't oh, work. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, oh God. Victoria. What if I rewind the again process. and give him the right answer? Okay, let's rewind some more. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process? So now, because self Victoria actually gave the answer, and we actually rewound time, now we have a third option. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean <sighs> process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You so basically right now, um, like so this is the kind of tutorial for learning some basic time control um, <clears throat> but what's kind of interesting is that some of the ways they use this mechanic um, even in the short while that I've played this game they're starting to do some interesting things with it and especially as the story gets stranger um, I could see some of these future episodes getting into some really kind of crazy stuff Okay, so we need to be the hero. Um, we don't really want to examine things because we really need to get moving. Let's uh, let's get out of here, huh? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Fine. Can't duck out of class that easy. I never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. So we've heard this part of the conversation. Let's, uh... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max? A little bit of variation there. Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on. So now we Don't could leave start. it at that. We could leave it at that, but what's interesting is we can actually back up right before the actual conversation. And again, now that he's said something, I just really think every day here, like, let's talk with uh, our me, teacher again. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I never <laughs> let one of photography's future stars avoid... So we've heard that already. Picture. So now... Because I heard him prattle I'm on. on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay, so we got out of there a little bit quicker this time. And our instructor... So the other interesting thing is um, basically... Um, they make a point of saying right away that a lot of your decisions are really going to matter. They're going to carry forward. And sometimes even things that you wouldn't think would matter uh, might carry forward in some way into later in the episode or future episodes. Kind of like The Walking Dead, Telltale's 
the Walking Dead series, which actually I have not yet covered on the channel, but probably should at some point here, especially the first season, because that was fantastic. Um, so again, you know, look at the pause menu here. This is really clear, really nice, really nice large print. Not a problem to read at all. So, <clears throat> that is one way we can manipulate time. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. And we're not going to do the we're please. not going to do the uh, whole earbud anybody. thing. They'll think I'm crazy. But instead we can run because she knows what's going to happen in the bathroom now. So we're going to mosey right on down the hallway and into the bathroom we go yet again. Okay, Max, retrace every step. So it's not just about dialogue. I washed we're actually going to be able to I shredded well, my photo. I'll let her talk. Uh, Butterfly food. Butterfly, yep. Yeah. And I took a photo. Yep. So it kind of automates some of the stuff that you did on your own before. So you don't have to do the everything again bitch. tediously. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. So we've got to find a way to prevent oh, him from well, shooting that girl. That? What are you doing? So Come we've got, oh, what do we got here? I need a hammer to break it open. Okay, we got a fire extinguisher. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Sorry, lady, but nobody says hella anymore. Mr. Punk ass, would they? No way. Nobody said hella for a long time. All right, so I got a hammer. I busted the uh, fire alarm there. And she got away. She didn't get shot. This cannot be real. All right, now just we just nonchalantly walk out of this face. bathroom here. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck Do indeed? Not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? Oh, this guy's that a dick. You should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Yeah. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. <laughs> nice. Yeah, every business or every school has got to have that. Just some dick that, you know, some security guard or whatever that takes their job way too seriously. Anybody in authority that just takes themselves way too seriously you are just obnoxious. Alright, so let's have a chat with... Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Ah, okay, fine. Alright. So, let's go have a chat with the principal real quick. And see what we can principal do. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? So now Hello, Max. here... Talk to me. Here is where the game gets interesting. Because there's not... I, I like what this game is doing so far with a lot of its dialogue choices. There's not a right or wrong way. So I'm going to choose B. I just got sick in class. Uh, I'm not going to turn him in. wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. I've never it heard happens, this choice you know. before because when I played, There's I didn't that choose team this. Toot again. You know, I've, I've heard <laughs> team two. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class, please. Oh, that went well. No, he does not buy that at all. So I let's flush my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are so, you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried. Let's replay about this conversation. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, 
Told now you. let's tell the truth this time and see what happens. So, what well, last time when I made a choice, I followed through with it, but she kind of thought in her head, she's like, oh, well, I screwed that up. There goes my scholarship, you know. There, there's some bad si uh, consequences. So, obviously, this is the correct choice, right? I just to saw turn Nathan in. Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told <clears throat> you. We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. So, Mr. Rich Boy of course, this is. Academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Right. Should I rewind and change my story? So, no, and that's what I like about these dialogue choices. I like that there's not a good, you know, a good answer and a bad answer. There's not a you know, to use the Mass Effect, you know, uh, Paragon and Renegade, uh, you know, good or bad. I, I like the fact that there's not really a clear choice. It's like, what do you really feel like doing? What do you, you know, and the consequences are, I think, are going to be quite different depending on what I chose. So, Max, you better go on outside now. I think I will stick with the turn him in um, just to see what happens there. That's what I did in my other game. Um, so I haven't played far enough to get, um, to find out what those consequences are going to end up being, but I know that that's not going to, uh, go well because A, the principal doesn't believe me right now because, you know, he wants his money because we got, you know, rich boy and his family, uh, basically running the school. So they don't want to jeopardize that. But you really, especially like I said, you know, nowadays you really got to take all these damn gun threats seriously because it seems like every other day in the news, um, With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front there's another shooting. And there's our announcement. I just turned Mr. Nathan Prescott into the principal. <coughs> um, so I hope they go, you know, as the episodes go further on, I hope that they actually treat the subject matter well and treat it seriously because you know I, I like having this in like this high school setting uh, even though it's maybe not a public school or whatever but you still have all of these kind of you know serious issues you know like um, especially the gun the gun or the shooting right now um, this lady over here I'm not gonna talk to her I'm gonna leave that for you guys to kind of explore but basically, she is um, wanting people to sign a petition because that security guard that was all full of himself in the hallway when we got out of the bathroom, he is wanting to go nuts and put security cameras everywhere, like hallways and dorms and classrooms and just everywhere. And they're like, well, do you want to do that to keep people safe? Or do you want to, you know, not do that and not have it, you know, like a you know, as they kind of put it in there, you know, a, a maximum security prison, you know, this is a school, um, you know, but then again, you know, then you trade off and if I didn't, if I wasn't able to rewind time, uh, that girl would have been shot. So again, there's really not a right answer. Um, so I like the fact that um, it's giving you these kinds of choices. Uh, okay. I just cut her off by accident. I just got a text from this, uh, what's his name? And I can go ahead and scroll up and down and review it. And again, the fonts, you know, the font is clear. Uh, 
text is decently large. I mean, like I said, even at a high resolution like this, um, you know, it's kind of small, but not terrible. So uh, I haven't really paid, like I said, I haven't paid too much attention to my cell phone, um, but I might go back and kind of look at some of it because some of it probably is kind okay, of amusing. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. All right, so basically, yes, I need to grab a flash drive to return to this guy um, who borrowed it to me. Now, again, um, this episode, you know, we started with that weird dream sequence, and obviously that's going to play in now that you've seen there's like this crazy time mechanic. There's more going on than just a person having a weird nightmare in class after she fell asleep. Um, but this one, you know, this episode so far seems to be mostly, you know, aside from the gun incident earlier, um, really getting to know the characters and the school and things like that. So I don't know what kind of crazy twists and turns this uh, series is going to take is as so we go weird. on. These visions, this power... Right. But, you know, I can talk to several of my fellow classmates, and there are several instances where, like, I'll do the skateboarding one, just because I'll show you kind of, like, remember those pictures that we can collect. Um, I, I have figured out how to do this, so... We're going to talk to this guy. Now, this guy, for being a skater guy, this guy, the voice acting for this character is kind of weak, in my opinion. Hey, buddy. Yo, you Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Sure. Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move going to be? Uh, jump? You're such <laughs> a poser. If you can't even do a simple Ollie? no slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Okay, that didn't go well. So now, again, he's given us some information. Let's have a chat, shall we? Uh, can we... Fine, okay, I'll go back further. Okay. Yo, Justin. Let's talk to him Check again. Out the max. Come to thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Some of it just sounds like he's kind of phoning some of those lines in. Okay, so we are going to... Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Okay, so... Oh, and he bites it. And because I'm... An annoying person. Of course I'm going to take a picture of your misery. Okay. Got my Polaroid. Now, what's interesting too, so now you see I've got that one from the classroom and I've got the skater picture. Uh, we found that one. But now, what I can also do is let's say that I don't know if it will have any impact. You know, maybe because he hurt himself. Uh, he's, you know, not feeling too good over there. I could probably rewind all the way. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. Come to thrash. Okay. Let's do this I came again. To no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate or shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? So let's do the other one. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to make any difference in the story, you know, whether he's hurt or not. But like I said, so I got my picture. I still have, let's see, where is it? Okay, so we've got more characters filled out over there. Uh, where the hell is it? Um, well, um, I forget where the, how do I, oh well, um, but when you go to the pictures there, um, I still have that picture of him wiping out, so 
I can kind of get my picture and I can still kind of help him out so he doesn't eat it. Um, like I said, I doubt that that'll come into play, but it's kind of cool that you can do that. So again, I'm going to skip past all these people because, like I said, a large part of experiencing this game is the story. So um, a lot of these people, you will have to do things to kind of either get them to like you or you can get them to show you stuff or do something for you. So we're going to just bypass that and I'm going to show you one more kind of puzzle just because it amuses me. And uh, we're going to get to see Victoria get hers because she's kind of bitchy. So we're going to go over to the dorm area here. And again, I'm going to skip past all these little characters here, but this should at least give you an idea of at least what I've experienced uh, from the first episode, what this game is like. Um, I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I would definitely suspect that things are going to get crazy in the second episode. You'll probably still have some of this high school thing behind it, but um, I, have, I have a sneaking feeling, especially after talking to a lot of these other characters, that those missing girl posters, uh, what's her name, Rachel, um, that's probably going to, we're probably going to end up figuring out what what happened to her. I have a feeling that's going to be a theme throughout the rest of the series. And yeah, I am kind of genuinely curious to if know... If I told Warren what's going on, would he laugh? Um, I have a feeling that that's just going to be something that we'll be able to figure out, and I'm genuinely curious to see what actually happens with her. So here we go. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Aren't we, uh... What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> uh-huh. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, yeah? Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yee. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Indeed we will. Indeed we shall. Your ass is mine, lady. You are so gonna get it, and it's gonna be great. So, looky what we've got here. They won't move. We happen to have a ladder with a can of paint. That could be fun. We've got sprinklers. What mayhem could we possibly cause for that? Let's uh, sneak over here. What the hell? Are you kidding? Uh -huh. Look at this. Chill, Victoria. That got your ass Just up. Water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. <laughs> you can't even chill on the steps. No, you can't. So, we got her up. However... Mm-hmm. The plot thickens. Now they're just standing in the way. So, actually, let's uh, go all the way back. Okay. Wait, where the hell? Let's go all the way back further. Okay, why did... Okay, now they're sitting down. Okay, I gotta rewind further. So he's gonna come down the ladder. We gotta keep going. Back up, buddy. Yep, put her down. You go over there, do your maintenance, go do your thing. Keep backing up. You see nothing. Alright, so now we're gonna tamper with the old handle here. Perfect. Okay, let's see if this works. Now, 
Now we'll get your ass up. Ha 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 ha. Here we go. Revenge is served. What the hell? Are you kidding? Because if I didn't do the, uh, if I didn't do the sprinkler, he would have dropped the pail, but it wouldn't have actually hit her. So you would have to rewind and actually complete that too, but I'm actually skipping a step just to show you guys and keep the video moving. Here we go. He's coming. Boom! Oh, no there we go. Hey, oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Get the, <laughs> the creepy janitor. <laughs> There's always a creepy janitor. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now let's go rub it in, shall we? I was actually nice to her, uh, just because. Uh, figure didn't want to try to escalate things, but you know uh, what? We're gonna. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? So, what are we gonna do to her? Uh. Yeah. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. And no filter needed before I post this. <laughs> Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. Yeah. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't now know, that I have was to pretty get to fun. my room, then see Warren. So I could actually do the other thing. Now I wonder, like I said, I wish I could figure out... Okay, there's the people that I've met. Uh, where the heck are those... Huh. I don't know. I was going to see if it added another picture to my ones that I have to do. But I could pause, you know, I could rewind it and um, go with the kind of nicer option. And then if I do, see, like I said, I don't know what the option is going to be because maybe I do actually want to be mean to her because she's mean to everybody. And, you know, she's that, that little thing that's not really going to teach her anything because obviously she's made it this far. And she's just bitchy to everybody, so she'll just have her, her revenge later. So it's probably good to get one in on her while you can. Um, if I was nice to her like I was in the other game, uh, the character, your main character, she goes something like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that because she probably just walked all over me. I should walk all over her. You know, just, oh, yeah, let her walk all over you some more. Um, <clears throat> so, again, I, I don't know how this is going to play out. Uh Either way, so there is definitely, especially with these choices, where there doesn't really seem to be a good, right, or wrong answer, there does seem to be some replayability here. Um, so, like I said, especially after all the episodes come out, you know, I'm just going to play this. I don't know how often these episodes are supposed to come out. But I'm actually hoping that they come out fairly Victoria often. Is going to be pissed we took so long. I hope, <laughs> I hope that they, uh, you know, that they do follow at least semi closely to what they did in Walking Dead. I mean, sometimes they fell a little bit behind, but they were genuine, generally pretty good about releasing new episodes uh, for a season. If not every month, then maybe two months at the most. Like I said, there were especially there was a few episodes where it's like, man, I want to know what happens now. Um, but uh, I, you know, I have no idea how this is gonna. I'm sure there'll be a cliffhanger of of some sort after episode one. Um, but I don't know what that's gonna be yet because I haven't got there. But um, yeah, I mean, I think it's. I think it could be pretty interesting. So we home found sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Yeah, sounds about right. So again, you know, we can examine things. We can, uh, yeah, let's play. Let's end it with a little song, shall we? Again, just the presentation style, the camera angles, just the, you know, playing on a good video card again. <laughs> um, kind of cool. So. 
yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave it off there. Like I said, I definitely, I skipped, this is about where I left off in my game, except I've done a lot of other things. I've talked to most of the people outside in the, uh, on the campus, so I've actually gotten a lot more done, but, you know, at least this should give you an idea. You, you kind of get the idea of, like, the dialogue options that you can do in the game, seeing a little bit of the main plot with the crazy kid wanting to blow up the school and shoot people, and then you got the whole time rewind thing, you've got this weird lighthouse crazy tornado thing at the beginning that I'm sure is some foreshadowing to something, or a flashback to maybe what has been, or some, I have no idea, but yeah, so under the kind of weird high school drama um, there definitely seems to be a few more interesting layers to this game so yeah that is Life is Strange um, I think I might actually upload this uh, I'm recording this on a Friday night so usually I upload videos on Saturdays um, I might upload this tomorrow, but I might keep it. I'm not quite sure. Um, regardless, when I do upload this, I probably will have some other videos still in my queue. So um, even though I'm recording this on the new computer, I still do have a few videos recorded uh, using my old rig and old video card and that kind of thing. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm glad I got Fraps and Steam and everything up and running already, so I should be able to continue pretty much uninterrupted. I've got, you know, and I've got some other videos queued up, like I said. Haven't got the iOS uh, uh, reflector program installed and working yet. And I wonder with a, a lot more RAM and a lot more video card, I wonder if that's actually going to be a lot easier to record again, because as you remember, I was having some real issues uh, recording some game content so um, yeah uh, I will hopefully try to continue some iOS coverage too there's a couple things that I have in mind I'd like to attempt to cover so yeah um, this is uh, the first video in uh, starting with a new computer so hope you guys have enjoyed it this has been life is strange episode 1 it is available on PC through Steam. It is also available, I believe, on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. You can pick up the first episode for about five bucks, uh, and you can get all five episodes for uh, without any sale or anything like that. You can get the whole season for 20 bucks. So essentially, you're getting an episode for free if you're paying full price, but uh, Judging by what I've played so far of this game, I am kind of liking it. I'm really kind of digging the, uh, like I said, the atmosphere and the some of the high school drama is a little bit weird and a little bit maybe a little off kilter. But overall, like I said, I kind of enjoy it and uh, interested to see where the story goes. So that has again been Life is Strange and hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.